What's up, Wiggly? Who's this silly boy, eh? Who's gonna wiggle his tail? Hey, Wiggs, we got our people over here. Come on, Wiggs. What's up, Quad Squad? Back at it with another one for another one? Well, that's where I'm at. Anyway, so today is about technology. Going back to my roots, making more videos about technology, what's out there, and what things can make a difference in your life. And this video is about the Bluetooth joystick that you can connect to your phone and control your phone via switch control. What's switch control? It's an assistive technology built into the iPhone that makes it so you can use a secondary switch to control your phone. So in this example, that's your Bluetooth joystick. So you can use your joystick to manage and control your phone. You know, I know that they do have it for the head control. Um, be a little different, but it's still the same. Um, and, you know, I know that they also do have something similar for Galaxy. I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to use it, but I've got an, a Samsung phone that I'm filming on so I definitely can do it if the people want it so if the people want it leave a comment down in the description and I'll definitely get into how to control your your Samsung with your Bluetooth joystick you know I do it for the people so let me know people anyways so with that you know we're gonna hop into it but if you're noticing that I've got this really cool AI tracking technology thingy so I just got some new equipment it's called the Insta360 Flow it's an AI gimbal with like a selfie stick, tripod, everything built into one. So it's like your personal videographer, or if you're blind, you know, make sure that you are always in the center of the video. You know, if you wanna look into that or get one yourself, you know, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's actually pretty amazing. I'm gonna make a video about it in the future, but it's not this video. This video is about the sex switch control and everything, of which this video is sponsored by Fable. What is Fable? Fable is the leading accessibility platform that is driven by people with disabilities. So they have it so that they have big companies like Walmart that have a website presence and they come to Fable and they say, hey, can you get your testers to test out my website? Tell me how I can improve, how I can be more accessible, what difficulties they face. And you know, Fable has us, the testers, either have a prototype interview or do it on the spot and you know, go through and let them how, know how to improve. It's a pretty amazing place to work. Um, we used to love working there, you know, they pay good and they take care of you well and you make a difference. That's the main reason why I got on board because it makes a difference. You want to know more details on Fable, hit the link up in the corner, you know, and if you like making money or want to know how to do side hustles, that is also what the video is about, you know, employment and side hustles because who doesn't like making money? And especially when you're social assistants, you got to know how to make money to be able to enjoy things like events and concerts and stuff. So hit that video up but after you watch this video please come on you came here for a reason let's get right into it all right I'm gonna get rid of this this pretty little mug and we're gonna go to the joystick in my phone and yeah so let's hop right into it all right so everybody I am gonna show you how to connect this Bluetooth joystick in other words a secondary switch to your iPhone and how to control it with switch control which is an assistive device I mean it's assistive technology built into your iPhone so to get it started what you want to go into if you haven't set up your Bluetooth on your joystick yet check out a video up here to um, see how to connect this to your computer and control your computer with the joystick but anyways you go into your settings which is up here you push and you hold until it goes to settings you go down to Bluetooth and in Bluetooth you have your RNET mouse one which is what I was talking about before connected to your computer or you can go down to iDevice so now down in iDevice you turn it on and once it's on you can go and exit and then exit okay and now you go over to your Bluetooth and you'll see iDevice so now when you go to iDevice push forward and then you push backwards and you'll hear a bigger beep which just puts it it kinda of resets the joystick and makes it so that whatever you connect to it next is going to connect to it and it's going to remember it whenever you go to that mode right now my 
my joystick has already been connected because it remembers it even though I reset it. But anyways, um, so now, now you go over to your settings and then you go into switch control and this is where you can toggle on and off switch control. And when you toggle it on, then it will most likely come up with the first version of how you can do switch control, which is item mode, which when you click your joystick one way or the other, you will get this this highlighter that highlights certain sections of the phone and when you click them say click for I have a setup so that when you push forward it's like the okay when I push right it goes down when I push left it goes up so now I want to go to switches so I can show you how to set up those switches so you go forward and then it will bring you up this menu now with this menu you can go with the most likely option that it will show you um, or there's a bigger menu so with the bigger menu you go down to the three dots and it will give you things like scroll gestures change the way that it, it selects things which is gliding cursor or item mode recipe shortcuts device if you want to re restart your device you want to do a screenshot you want to do all these things um, or you want to zoom there's zoom at the bottom which is pinch you know, there's so many different things you can put in there. I would be here for hours if I told you all about them. But anyway, so if you want to just go to select, you can go back to the first one and click tap. So now once you're there, you know, I'm just going to put, put focus. Okay. Once you're there, you have what switches you can set up. So this is how you move the joystick is what it does. So for me, I have go back as control center. So that's backwards, medium back switch. So decrease, you know, I set these up for a while ago, but long story short, it's how you move the joystick. Double move the joystick, double right this joystick, short, long, medium. It's you, There's so many different ways you can move the joystick and get it to do a command or whatever you're using to control your your phone um, so yeah so that's how you set the joystick up for what you want it to do so I have it set up left right forward and back those are really the only ones I use um, and yeah and then there's recipes those are a little bit more complicated scanning style you know auto scanning time you know all of these things in depth you want an in-depth video hit me up down in the comments and I'll make a how to video part two you know in depth switch control how to set it up with this that different types of switches etc um, but right now I'm just showing you the basics and this is the basics you know so for me I set go home as backward joystick when I do that it takes me home so then it's gonna scan the items and whatever I want to do you know if I want to go to notes I go there I go forward I go right right I go right, I go forward. So then I go home, you know, I want to go make a phone call, etc. You no, know, you know, say I want to go to the next page, you know, I go anywhere, I click forward, forward, it gives me the most likely option, which is scroll right, click scroll right, goes to the next page, scroll right, goes to the next page, scroll left, goes to the next page. And when you're doing a scroll, it doesn't throw the menu away it keeps the menu open um, so then you know you go there 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 you know you want to do something else you want to restart the phone which is something that's not easy to do when you're a quad so you go over all right restart the phone and bam you want to restart the phone yes I do and bam and that's how it's done um, so you know that's the basics and I hope the basics helps you out um, that's how you set it up that's how you turn it on that's how you use it and that's how you use the basics of it you know the more you need the more you learn about it the more you use it the more you learn about it and then you'll know okay you know what Nick I'm having these difficulties can you help me out with this and ask those questions in the comments I love hearing from you guys I want to know what you guys think do you guys use it what do you use it on you know all of these things Wonderful little Wakely. Hey, Wakely. Wakely, come here. Oh, come on. So come say bye. Hey, goodbye.
Anyways, he's like, Dad, I've been laying down. I've been sleeping. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yo, if you don't use Dragon or you don't use any, like, assistive devices on your computer or anything, and you want to be able to make money, if you learn how to use Switch Control on your iPhone or on your Android, whatever you use, that is assistive technology, which makes it so that you are using a Switch, and you can then work for Fable. Just on a side note, you know, there's many different assistive devices. It doesn't have to be a screen reader. It doesn't have to be drag. It doesn't have to be any of that. Anyways, just a side note. Wanted to throw that in there if you guys stayed till the end. You know, thanks for coming. If you guys want to see, you know, whatever you want to see next, whether it's voice control or whether it's my vehicle situation or it's more technology, you know, just hit me up and let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. You know, I want to make what you guys want to see. And, you know, anyways, with that, thanks for tuning in. Check out one of these videos in the top right corner or left right corner. You know, um, YouTube thinks you're going to like that one the most. And that one, I think you're going to like the most. Anyways, let us know who won, YouTube or me. Anyways, take it easy. Peace.